Hey gang, Scott here. In this video, I'll take a first look at Luminar AI. That's right, Luminar AI, the package from Skylum that's coming out later this year. They were kind enough to share a pre-release version of the software with me. And I wanna show you the basics and just walk through the editing of a raw photo to completion. You can see a couple of the different AI tools that are gonna be coming in the package. I will stress that this is pre-release software which means it may not look exactly the way it's going to look when the product finally ships, so keep that in mind. And uh, with that, let's uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna work on my laptop here today. It's where I always install my pre-release software. So here's the basic interface, and uh, from the top here, we have catalog, templates, edit, export. That is really your workflow. You're in your catalog, you find a photo you wanna work with, you push it through templates, which is really the new big thing in Luminar AI. You can fine tune things and edit, and finally you export. So I'll choose this photo here of this lantern in Japan and bring it into templates. Now the first thing that happens is Luminar AI looks at your photo and suggests a variety of templates for you. And it's noticed you know, small things in the world, because I'm kind of close up on this lantern. It's got objects, it recognizes that. People, I'm guessing it's picking up a few of the shadowy things in the background. This is an area of the software I'm expecting to get much stronger in the final release. But let me go into objects and see what we have here. So I can pick this and I can just look through all the different templates they have here. And I'm thinking about taking some of the color out of this with noir objects. That's pretty cool. What about surface tension? Well, that's got some punch to it. You know what, let's try this. Let's do noir objects, but we have a control. We can dial back the strength of that whole look. And I kind of like this bit of a muted look for it here. And then maybe with some other adjustments, punch up the blacks toward the end. But this, this is looking really cool. I kind of like that look to it. And from here, uh, one of the things I want to do is try out the new composition AI. So I've chosen my template. My templates read the photo and gave me some few options. I tried some on for size. They have run to edit now. And right at the top of the essentials group, now we have composition AI. And we get a crop tool. I'll just hit the button and let it choose. And that's actually what I kind of agree with. I may bias this just ever so slightly because it picked up this thing here, but this trail of lanterns leading out to a far corner and getting rid of a lot of the things that are on the bottom that really aren't necessary. But Composition AI did a very good job at giving me a close to desired crop. So that's really powerful, that's really cool. I liked some of the structure I saw in one of those other templates, so I'll go into Structure AI and just kind of boost that up quite a bit. And then maybe up in the Light tool, taking the black point down a little bit so I can get some deeper, richer shadows there. And playing with Smart Contrast. Smart Contrast gets overlooked, and that's something I like to put into uh, a lot of my photos. I think I'm done with that. From here, the workflow would be then go to export. I can hop over into export and you can do a variety of things like save to disk is most common for me. I'll save that out. And I have all the options I would expect. I can choose a long edge, something like 2000 pixels, my different formats, your color spaces, and maybe I'll choose a quality of about 80 and I'll let that go fly. Well, let's take a quick look at a before and after. I'll hold down the backslash key, before, and after. And that just took a couple of minutes leveraging templates and some of the AI tools, adding in my final bits of tweaks. And that's an important thing here because Luminar AI, it doesn't mean you have to relinquish all control. You're leveraging AI to do a lot of the heavy lifting. That's the value proposition of AI. So to recap that workflow, it is that bar across the top of Luminar AI from left to right, catalog, templates, edit, export. You're in your catalog, you pick a photo, bring it through templates, try on a few for size, and if you get your photo to 80, 90% of where you wanna go, but want a little bit of extra control, go into the edit. You've got all the different tools there. You can adjust things to your taste, 
And then finally, move on out to export, save your photo. And the thing is that I've noticed with Luminar AI so far, and this is pre-release software, so I expect things will get even better. Composition AI is doing a pretty darn good job of picking an initial crop. I don't agree with it 100% of the time, and as you saw that here in this video, I made a minor tweak to it, but it's pretty strong to begin with, so that's promising, and if you're struggling with a photo, not sure how to crop it, this can give you some help. The other thing is the templates that use more of the AI tools. So this is the tools like Structure AI, Accent AI, some of the new ones like Atmosphere AI. Those become very powerful because the individual tools are paying attention to what's in your photo. They get all coupled together in that template and the templates looking at the overall scene. You get a lot of power there because the, the templates are considering things like what objects are in the photo, What's the time of day of the photo? It's understanding sunrise versus sunset, you know, objects versus people versus landscapes, a whole lot going on there. And so it's making very targeted suggestions on what type of look you might want to apply. And of course, you don't relinquish control. You can go into any of the different template groups and browse around, try a bunch on for size before you move on with your workflow. So that's the fundamental, that's the basics. And we'll first look at Luminar AI. Hope you found it useful. If you got questions, I'll do my best to answer them. I will say it's pre-release software, so if it's questions around the interface and why is one thing called something else or things are moving around, I, you know, I'm gonna hold off on answering those because the software may change before we see the final product. Anything else, go ahead and fire away and I'll do my very best. Hope you found it useful, and until next time, my name's Scott Davenport, have fun.